and welcome back to Bookish Brits. My name is Michelle and today I have something really important that I'd like to discuss with you and that is diversity in books. I hope by now that you've all seen and support the We Need Diverse Books campaign. I found it really interesting to see everyone's different posts and read about the, the different opinions that are coming up on Twitter, on Instagram, and definitely on Tumblr. While it may not be apparent, I am mixed race. Uh, my mother is native Alaskan, my father is white. I grew up in a mostly white middle class community. There were churches on every corner and I really didn't feel like I fit in anywhere and I definitely did turn to books hoping to escape from everything in my life and I did find it very disappointing and disheartening growing up that there weren't more people like me in the fiction that I read. I definitely, definitely want to see more mixed race characters, I want to see more people of colour, I want to see different religions, different abilities, different sexualities. I, I just want YA and just fiction in general to be a better reflection on the diverse world that we live in. So today I wanted to talk to you about one of my favourite diverse books ever and that is Born Confused by Tanu Desai Hidier. I'm not sure if I'm saying that correct. I hope I am. This is a book that I discovered by accident in my local library way before I started blogging and I was attracted by this really pretty colourful um, spine here. Pulled the book out and it has a quote on the front and it says complicated, chaotic and absolutely charming. Jane Austen goes to Bollywood and it was it was that quote, this pretty star-filled cover, um, that, that really attracted me to this book. And I think the Jane Austen sort of comparison really works. Now this is a story about a girl, I think she's 16 or 17, her name is Dimple Lala and she's having kind of a rough time of things. Um, she's had a best friend, Gwen, for years and years and they're sort of drifting apart now that Gwen has found a boyfriend. Dimple herself has broken up with a boy um, a year ago and she's still sort of getting over it. There are so many things that I love about Born Confused. I love the element of friendship between Dimple and Gwen that comes up throughout the book. I love this really slow burn romance between Dimple and Karsh. I love the relationships that Dimple has with her family members. She she doesn't really see eye to eye with um, either of her parents and that changes gradually over the course of this novel. I also loved her relationships with her cousins, definitely, even though her Dimple's grandfather has passed away before the events of this book, I still got a really strong connection from Dimple's memories of that. I love that there are different hobbies and things that play a big part in, in this book, from Dimple's photography to Karsh's DJing, there's a lot of music, there's a bit of dance. It's really, really wonderful. Another thing that I loved is that there is a character who comes out as gay and a lot of the family expectations of this character have come out and Dimple's reaction and everything to this character. There's also this really amazing cross-dressing character in this book um, that really helps Dimple to come to terms with her own appearance. I love that this book is showing how much struggle that Dimple is under to combine her friendships and her life in America with that of her Indian heritage and her culture. Um, I love the fact that Dimple gets more involved in the Hindu religion that she was brought up with and she learns more about it and in doing so she educated me as the reader about 
Hinduism, which I found incredibly, incredibly interesting. I really, really love this book a lot. I love that there is an Indian girl on the front cover. I love that so much of the book is about Dimple herself um, and how you know, how she's trying to fit in, in her friendship group, in her families, in a romantic relationship, and definitely within her own culture. I really, really adored that. I, I love that the romance is there and it's very satisfying, but it also doesn't take over the entire story as well. There is a really, really strong element of friendship in the way in which Dimple and Gwyn have fallen out and the, the reasons for that. It's a really, really wonderful book. I think it's an excellent example of diversity in young adult li literature and I'd definitely like to read more books like this. So that's it for me today. Please let me know in comments what you think of this video, the We Need Diverse Books campaign. Let me know if you've read any wonderful diverse books lately. Let me know!